All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name's Evan Carundi. I work for the Berks County Conservation District as their spotted lanternfly uh, control program and education and outreach coordinator. Uh, we're here today to show you this video on a few tips that you could do at home uh, in order to alleviate some of your spotted lanternfly issues, uh, some ways to, to control the nymphs uh, and even the adults uh, without using any pesticides uh, or anything along those lines. Uh, so what we're first going to show you is how to properly scrape an egg mass. So egg mass scraping can be done <clears throat> anytime from October or November when the adults lay their eggs uh, all the way up until the time they hatch. So usually spotted lanternfly eggs will start to hatch in May. Um, sometimes it could be a little bit earlier than that. Usually you're, we're looking at the first or second week of May here in Berks County. Uh, but again, it can vary dependent on temperature and different location. Uh, so now's a good time to get out there. The weather's nice. You can get out, scrape some egg masses, uh, and be sure to kill some nymphs before they hatch out. So if you can see right here, we have several egg masses laid, quite a few, all laid here on this one branch. Now an adult female spotted lanternfly can lay two to three of these egg masses, and there's about 30 to 50 individual eggs in each mass. They're laid in vertical rows, uh, and then they're coated with this substance in order to protect them. Um, it's very difficult in order to control these egg masses. There are, uh, as far as using a, an application, uh, there are some oils that can be used to coat these egg masses and kill them. Uh, but the most effective way for a homeowner uh, or somebody in the general public, if they come across an egg mass, is simply scrape them. Uh, so there is a protocol and a, a good way in order to do this egg mass scraping, and we're going to show you that now. Uh, so if you have some sort of container, uh, a baggie works pretty good because it can contour uh, to the, uh, the, the contour of the tree. Um, uh, then if you have some sort of flat object, now we have these scraper cards, these egg mass scraper cards that were produced by Penn State and the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. Uh, give some information on spotted lanternfly on there. Uh, we have a supply of these if you're interested in one, uh, or if not, uh, any credit card or flat object, a rock or a stick could even work. So the idea is to try to get the bag underneath the egg mass and scrape what you can into the, the bag. Again, this will work with a jar or any other type of vessel. And you'll see once we start scraping them here that it doesn't uh, necessarily come off very easy. So I'll try to get it here. So you can see them kind of popping all over the place. Uh, but for the most part, we're getting most of them into the bag. So I'll come back down through here. And you can see them all popping off and squishing. It's very satisfying actually to hear them squish and pop off of there, uh, knowing that we're going to control some of these nymphs and prevent them from hatching out. Now, egg masses can be laid on many different surfaces. It's not just laid on trees. Uh, they can be laid on rocks. It can be, be laid on artificial materials, such as uh, park benches, building sides, uh, you know, things you might have parked in your, in your yard. So anything that was sitting still uh, from, you know, November of last year, uh, or at least a little bit before that, it's a good idea to look for uh, egg masses on that, especially before you move that object. You know, maybe on a camper or something like that, uh, and you could potentially be moving these egg masses, which may then hatch where, uh, wherever you move it to. Could be outside of the quarantine zone, could be outside of an area there where spotted lanternfly are, and then spread their population just that much uh, farther and uh, and quicker. So it's a good idea to check these objects and check uh, your property uh, if you if you have spotted lanternfly or believe you might have spotted lanternfly. So this, like I said, is quite a, a collection of lanternfly egg masses here. Um, probably done by quite a few different females later in the fall last year. Um, and I know we're not going to get every one right now, but just for, for this sake, we're going to try to get the, the most of them, and then we'll come back through here and get the rest. We believe that egg masses or eggs that, that aren't getting in the bag, uh, you know, if they fall on the ground, probably a good chance they're not going to survive but there is also a chance that they that they will survive 
So what we want to do next is ensure that the ones that are in this bag that we have uh, scraped off and collected uh, will die. So there's a few methods in order to do that. So you could simply take this baggie that's full of egg, eggs um, and you could double bag it. Put another bag just like this around it. Uh, but uh, another preferred method is actually adding some alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol or even uh, just hand sanitizer uh, to these egg masses in this bag. You, know, you don't have to put a whole lot in there, but maybe enough to, to cover them and seal this bag up good. Seal it up good, kind of swish it around a little bit. And then it's for sure going to kill all of those eggs that are that are in there. Again, after this, you could double bag this um, this bag. I'll show you how to do that too. Uh, if you didn't have isopropyl alcohol, this is the next recommended step. Put put that in double bag, seal that up tight, and then this can simply be thrown in the in a, a regular trash receptacle uh, and thrown away. Uh, this shouldn't pose any harm. Uh, for transferring this, uh, you know, through through the garbage. So we have that. Again, that's something that can be done uh, anytime from October through May before these things hatch out.